What is up YouTube, Cross Archon here. If you haven't heard or seen it already, the new trailer for Operation Outbreak was released today. There are two versions of it, and the full version is what I'll try and break down here and see what we can discover. But first, let's go ahead and watch the trailer in its full-fledged glory. God damn, Hoss. Where'd you dig that relic up? From under a lot of dead bodies. And they all look surprised. Same joke every goddamn time. <laughs> Sorry. Doc, you were saying? The coil reinforces bones, goes like a carapace of armor on the skin. Jesus. In other words, it makes monsters. Thanks, Doc. Tell me this thing is contained. For now, but it's adapting faster than we can track. We upped the ordinance and created this thing. What happens if it gets loose? Mexico is south of us. Breaks quarantine and crosses the border. World's in for one long, bad night. What about nuking the town? Huh. What? Wouldn't be the first time we used a nuke in New Mexico. It's on the table, but we're here to make sure that it stays a last resort. Operatives are already on the field. Are these our hot zone specialists? Six has an eye for talent, and we need all the help we can get. This is where we turn the tide. Or drown. Now in the previously released teaser for Operation Outbreak titled Ash's Call to Arms, we heard Ash call in reinforcements. Send Thermite, Doc. And I need one of the Russians. I'll explain later. N6, send them fast before this all burns down. And as you saw, we get the Lord himself out of the two Russian operators we have in Rainbow Six Siege. Ash also said that she would explain later why we need the Russians, but this trailer really doesn't go into that. A plot point for the campaign, I suppose. We'll just have to wait and see what she meant. Next, enter Thermite. Without his helmet or his specs. So there you have it. A face reveal of our favorite OG Breacher. Now before we move on any further, let's look at the uniforms. If you already own the game, you know that we are being granted the Ash Elite for free as long as you play a multiplayer match between now and March 6th. That is what we see here on Ash. Similarly, we see the Lord and Thermite rocking the quarantine themed uniforms. Even Thermite's bandages look like the do not cross yellow tape. My immersion is not ruined here. Now these uniforms and cosmetics are not going to be available for all of the operators present in the Rainbow Six Siege's roster. They will be available for 14 of the operators that are playable during this co-op campaign. These cosmetics are available through Outbreak Packs only that will give you rare, epic, and legendary items with no duplicates. Alright, let's get back to the trailer. Ash in this next scene is talking to Doc, and Doc seems to have an access to an infected, and looks like whatever is occupying the host is turning them into monsters changing the physiology by creating some form of armor. All reinforces bones, goes like a carapace of armor on the skin. Jesus. In other words, it makes monsters. We then get a glimpse at a couple of captures of what they might look like, and I'm not sure if there's going to be a boss fight for this campaign mode or not, but that would be kind of cool. Next, we have a location. Looks like we'll be infiltrating or more likely holding our ground at Truth or Consequences, a city that exists IRL in New Mexico. I'm guessing it'll be a linear map design, but it'll also be cool to explore parts of this city in this game mode. Thermite, of course, wants to put a big fucking hole in the city by nuking it, but Ash wants to leave that as a last measure, stating that there are already ops on the field. This is where we get a glimpse of the new operators. Now we can see that the ops that we're going to get are going to be one male and one female character, the newest recruits by six. And of course, the trailer ends with another memorable line from Ash. This is where we turn the tide. Or drown. Operation Outbreak will be available as a free DLC for anyone to play starting March 6th and will run till April 3rd. Let me know in the comments below if there was anything I missed and if you would like to see more of the trailer breakdown videos in the future. Until then, I'll catch you in the next video.